And this talk show is on the go. I love that name. Bop, bop. You like it. It's on I the go, right? On the go. We are yeah. on the go with two women today. Two women today. We have Jordy Carlson and the lovely and talented Allie, Allie Bean 416. <laughs> and what's so great is that Allie, this yes. is right up your, we do this yeah. thing here. It's a conspiracy chic thing because yeah. women are not allowed to talk about conspiracies for some reason. We're not supposed to be involved in that kind of conversation. But this young lady was at the protest today. You That's saw the great. pictures. What do I you was, think? Yeah, I saw the pictures. They're so good. Tell it's, us about it. It was just, uh, I know I keep sounding like I'm just repeating myself, but yeah. everybody was really getting along and everybody was just had a ton of energy yeah. and was just there for Black Lives Matter and there for pride and really equal. Because like, actually before this, I had heard that some of the Black Lives Matter didn't want to do it together and pride or whatever, but I, yeah. I but everybody was there together today and they would... They were speaking, you know, to everyone, um, and I really liked that. Um, and the first protest was violent, the one that was yeah, on Fairfax. I know, but I think people's anger has kind of quelled a little bit, and so everyone's more like embracing each other now. You know what I mean? I hope. Although I heard something on the way over here, I had to call my mom and uh, tell her that I was okay. You yeah. know, because she was. I didn't tell my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Still Don't tell a Swedish TV father. Talk. They're crazy. No, I did not tell my Swedish dad that I was going to the protest today because, you know, the media too blows everything up, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, and so I had to call her. And she goes, Jody, did you hear about Atlanta? I go, no. What happened in Atlanta? Um, I heard a man got shot and that they, in anger, because you're talking about anger, and that's yeah, the reason yeah. I brought it up, they, um, they torched the Wendy's in front. My mom told me that the man was drunk and the police were, I think, trying to arrest him or something or tase him. And the guy got the taser from the police and pointed it at the police and they shot him. And it was in front of a Wendy's and they burned down the Wendy's. And she said, it's still smoldering today. And I'm like, well, so that's where we have to change. Uh, we have to. We have right. to change this. I mean, you know. Um, I used to hate the police. I, mean, I know. I think Sunda, you did too. Yeah, I got arrested for taking pictures. Yeah, I, you're not I gonna got, believe how much trouble twice. I'm in. I know. Well, so I just have this face. Like, I know I look like a bitch and or a Karen or whatever. I'm not. <laughs> my I niece is named I Karen, look, and my cousin Karen is Karen. I know, and she's I black. Know. Now you can't say I Karen. No, I know. I know. But <laughs> Karen man. is Karen the whitest name in the world. The whitest. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Yeah. Karen? It has to be. Is not Jane? Debbie? It's like Jane Susan. Or... It Susan? Or... Susan's pretty white. Susan's white. <laughs> Kathy? That's really white. You're talking about all know. ex-girlfriends and my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> I'm going to vomit right in the microphone. <laughs> but I and just... you know I'll throw up. Yes. Yeah, so... I'm just sad about all this that's going on because you know why? It's really hard to be black and white and then throw on the Jewish that I don't, but they know. And they also know what they went through, what we went through as Jews, me and my grandmother who had to come here from Germany. Now, I was able to see their passes from Ellis Island, you know, like getting yeah, I over. Isn't I saw crazy? them. I saw my grandparents' documentation That's from amazing. Germany and Sweden with my own eyes when my uncle was still alive. And I have to tell you something. I'm tired of talking about oppressors because there's no Swedes that we're having. How many Swedes were slave owners that you know? I don't, but the Swedes just were like the Vikings back in the day. What were they but doing? They just took white people. They I just mean, took white they, people. They, they took anybody. Anybody. They took anybody. Uh, they anybody. were just like yeah, rape not and just black. No, 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 no. Just like, come on. Too. Yes, yes. The women were hardcore, man. Oh my God, the guys were hot. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Well, well speaking of like yeah, hot blonde guys, yeah. there's the show Vikings. You know, oh, God. <laughs> like they but took dirty everybody. white boys. <laughs> 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 Think with the women too, they just took yeah. They went That's into why like it's hard though when all the kids are like oh, white people this white people. That. I hate we were that. talking about because we had the whole discussion about white privilege. Oh, with the kids, she had yeah. Teen Time. She hosted Teen Time well, we here. Didn't, uh, we didn't talk about white privilege with the kids, but we were talking about it before, and I was like, you know, there's different degrees of white, and they just yeah. keep saying white, white lady, white lady, and it's like, I'm part Swedish. I'm ha Swedish and Irish. Yeah. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got all that. Family. Three Swedes, I, I got real all Swedes. In there. Yeah, Amstrom. Hogstrom is is. Hogstrom, Ostrom, and Cronquist. Yeah. <laughs> and Hagstrom is like people say Hagstrom, but it's Hagstrom. 
But it really means like cherry tree by the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, strong. Strong is a stream. Sh- a sh- a sh- a yeah, so you two have the same last name. You could be so related. She, yeah, they oh, just, I thought you were Carlson. Strom. That's, that's the oh, name that's that I, that's name? my, yeah, that's the maiden name that I took. What's your maiden name? My actual maiden name is Carlberg, oh, like okay. my parents. Yeah, because yeah. what they would do is, like, it's the the, the of. Yeah. So Carlsberg is Carl's Hill. Carl's yeah. son is Carl's son. Right, right. right. Like they yeah. would just do it like Johansson, Johnson, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, like it's yeah. crown, it's crazy. branch, croon, quiz. I know. So difficult. When you I, go to Ikea, everybody calls me and tells me they got a wood here. It says quist. Did you ever hear of it? I was like, yeah, it means branch <laughs> in Swedish. Yeah, there's lots that of that. I know. Right. Uh, well, all the kids just lump all the white people in together. And it's like, you know, they attacked they're, they're you. really mad at like the imperialists. Like, British. tell her what happened, Allie. Oh, what? Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Say hi to Mike Marino, everybody. Hi, Hello. Jersey. Tell him oh. how the kids went off on you. I love him. Well, this was like the beginning of when this was all happening. We had them here like the day after, and they Oof. were just like the day after, like that Saturday, Friday, and Saturday looting. And yeah, the, okay. They're eighteen, Oof. nineteen. I, we had crying. seventeen, 17 18, eighteen, nineteen. 19. And we were talking about, and they they were just like, we're gonna get violent. We are gonna get violent. It's four hundred years of oppression. Well, it's because they're going to school and then they just are learning about what's happening and then they get really mad. I don't blame so, them. And they hate uh, they hate America. A lot of that's why you see all the protests like some they're burning American flag. Remember in they the, can't do that. The first L.A. protest, they were like torching the American flag. But we were trying to say like there's beauty in American history for the fact that we have people like Marvin Gaye and, you know what I mean? Yeah. And but we're James all, Brown and, you know. The, we're we're all immigrants here. Right, right. The, right, only, right. the only natives are Native Americans. Yeah, that's it. And the it. white right, man right. decimated them and sent them to shitty pieces of land right. in America. And actually, I was asking my mom and, like, what, you know, what is going on, like, with the Native American tribes? Because I haven't, we haven't heard a lot right, about. Right. They are on lockdown. They're like, nobody's coming on our yeah. property, on our reservation. I was like, yeah. good for them. There was something in North Dakota about the reservation. Oh, they're making, uh, they're having health. To get into the yeah. reservation, you, you have, have to have, have your health, temperature. Uh, health certificate. Mm-hmm. To, and they take your temperature. Before yeah. you, I'm like, good, they should be. But that's, How much intermarriage is going on in the Native American community because they're trying to keep it Indian? Inter- I mean, inter- sorry, so they're trying to keep it Native American. Intermarriage with who? You mean like like half mixed, like mixed people. I think right, it's like right. anything else. It depends, you know, if you got live quiet for a minute. When looked at me, I felt very, very strange. No, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think we know the answers to that. Right, but I don't I'm, know the answer. I feel like it's like any other town. But you Montana, know. there's reservations everywhere. Have you ever been? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And they You've welcome never been you. To a reservation? You can no. You no? for the kids, you can drink on the reservation. Like you don't have to be twenty one. Well, they have that. That's the whole point. They have, they have their houses own... or teepees or what do they have? Tell someone that doesn't know. Well, um, houses. it's a community. It's almost, <laughs> houses. It's a, yeah, it's houses. almost like if you were to visit a military base where they have that's hot. The, the community of housing and stuff. But also, you know, like uh, up north, they have all the casinos around the Indian, yeah. the Indian it's just We have them in Mawa. Yeah. In Jersey, where our buddy is yeah. from. And they don't like to marry outside of the race. That's right, why right. they have a little problem there well, when little uh, Jimmy has three eyes. Well, that's because, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. But they want to keep the culture alive, and that's why. Dude, I yeah. met these guys from you Mawa can, at a Jewish can. deli uh-huh. who told me who they were, who knew one of my best friends, Kenny Easton, who is a very, very popular pastor in Patterson, New Jersey, that I stabbed in the hand with a pencil in grammar school because he said, he made fun <laughs> of, of my nose. Did. Of course I did. Of course I did. And he had no idea because I was thrown out of one school. Maybe you should have. I had to. I think you deserved that. They were saying that I washed my face with Coca-Cola. That's why I was so white. I went from a white school to a black school. Yeah. Seven years in a white school. And my last year, only one school takes me to grammar school. And it's across the street from Patterson Prison. That's where I graduated from. And boy, did I have a big wake-up call. I (laughs) know. Let me tell you. Yeah. When Denise Hampson's the only black chick, she's like, yo, what's up? You're in trouble. Denise? It, yeah, I was like, Denise? Yeah. How? Yeah, that's yeah. white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're thinking well, of white names now because they made fun of black names for so many years. Shaniqua was such a joke, but now Karen, how does it feel to be the new Shaniqua? Yeah, I think it's good. Well, Denise was on the Cosby show, though. Who's she Denise? Was, Huxtable? 
Yeah, Denise Hustler. That was the wife. That was Debbie Allen's sister, as a matter of fact. She was, uh, that, yeah, exactly. That's the mom, Claire. Claire Huxtable, right. Denise was uh, the Lenny Kravitz, who married Lenny Kravitz? Uh, Lisa Bonet. Yeah. Lisa she, Bonet, I right. I love her. She's Yeah, great. she's beautiful. Well, she's oh so God. pretty. But they, but again, back in those days, they were, they had light skin black yeah, she people. she was light skin. Very, very light She's skin. half and half. And when I was growing up, people used to make fun of Beyonce calling her whitewash. Well, the pictures didn't look her color. But she also had blonde extensions. Well, you're not but, allowed to but say But all extensions. the black girls would say, Beyonce is whitewashed. She's whitewashed. But she is pretty whitewashed. It's really hard sorry. to be mixed. Like, you don't right. She's not look... mixed. And her father was born in Patterson. She's not mixed. But actually, the mother, no, the mother is something else. She's half black and half something. She okay. ain't half white because you would have known. No, no, no. It's something else. Don't mean nothing. Just One drop of black makes you black. That's what I was told by right. Keenan Ivory Wayans after he saw me perform. But one drop of black makes you black? Mm-hmm. That's would the rule. They're but mean to you? I think it's crazy you have to pick. I think it's crazy you have to pick Are a side, Sunda. They spit on me. They spit on me. Don't tell me what's mean when you're mixed. I was in Patterson, New Jersey, and my grandmother had me outside getting some sun. My mother told me to be careful of things that were going on. Um, my mother had to always tell me to be careful of these kids, and I just thought, oh, she was being mean. But I remember when they spit on me. I remember being covered with spittle from the black kids because I was too light. And they that... live upstairs. They spit in my ears and in my hair, and I had so much hair. I and love my your grandmother hair. had to pull me I out of the water and wash me down. Your hair like this. Spit all over me. I love it. Don't tell me about when there's not... There's, let me tell you something, there is racism in the black community too. And I have a black grandmother, that's why I identify as black probably because my grandmother wasn't bringing home a white man. My mother had to be that crazy though in the 60s. You can't be bringing home the white guy, the Swedish guy. No, that was in those days, Sunda. That was. Dude, that's why I got to do one person show. I know. Because I'm not Italian. I know. Well, why? Okay, so let's so talk the Italian about thing. It. Why do you have to pick one side? That's the whole okay. thing. Okay, okay, so it's not picking, but. So I speak Spanish because I talk dialect because I was raised by an Italian. My parents were divorced when I was young. But it doesn't mean that I didn't know that I had a sister that was all white. And I also had a brother that was all black, as you knew. I know. And it's a story. Rest in peace. The story of America. I'm just not able to hate people on a certain race. But no. even in 2020, it's like we're still dude. I'm still a half breed. Talk about I'm it. still That's a half breed. I know. Yeah. You're gonna put you gonna you gonna post that about me, half breed, half white bitch. But also, this day and age, it, it, half white yeah. bitch, is enough. Right. It's beautiful. Like I mean, it's all beautiful. That's why I just don't understand. But Tova, Sorry, guys. Tova was saying the same thing about her school. It was the Jewish day school. Right, and she said she was the only black girl there. They called her the N-word, and she didn't tell me because she didn't want me to get mad. <gasps> yeah. Because the music business allows you to do that. What? See, when I was a kid, you didn't use the N-word. You would be like, yo, you oh, my no. nigga. You my nigga. You say nigga, you going down, and I'm going to get four of my cousins to hold you. Right. All right? Because yellow is mellow, brown is hip, black is beautiful. You know that white was not it. There's that was Vietnam. A, <laughs> white uh, is not it right now. There's a pretty well known, It is not good to be uh, white right now. There's a pretty well-known white comic that says the N-word. I don't know how because, like, I'm sorry. I know, but what I can we was... do with him? He thinks he has the right. No, you can't say that word if you're white. You can't. It's you can't say that word. It's just no. not. You cannot. He you says have it. He thinks no he can. Way. You cannot. Say I don't it. think we should it's... say. Can I tell you? It's so hard to get used to. I'm so hard never. to used to. And the first time I ever heard it is when a guy told me that Keith Robinson was his nigger, and I I thought that he meant like, I didn't know what he like meant. gay. No, I thought oh. slave or something. Oh. Who says with the that? the hard R? What's with the hard R? I'm from Jersey. It's going to be nigga no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is that? Excuse me. I never curse on these shows. You know right. that. What is that? Niggas, 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 niggas. It's I wrong. Know. And then when you guys come here to the LA School of Comedy because you need a clean tape, a clean tape, I got a complaint once because the guy went out. So all his friends was like, yo, where's my niggas at? I was like, that's going to kill on friggin' Leno at the time. Oh my God, you scared me! I was me. like, "We got Hey, it. Mark Zaffron came in live and well. <laughs> Woo! How are you doing? What's going on with the protesting? Can you tell us? No, we're not going to do that. We can't hear you, so don't worry about it. You go. Wait, believe me, they can hear him. I am going to go back for a second because you telling people to have a clean show. No, because Sunda, <laughs> Sunda, my worst show. 
speaking of the police, <laughs> this is why I love her so much. And we're so much alike. So I get this call. A friend recommended me to the highway patrol to be a stand-up for their Christmas party. <laughs> Talk about the cops, and, guys. And the first thing I said, here's this is why we are Listen, sisters from another mister. We did it. I go to him. I was like, um, is it okay if I've been arrested twice and put in jail? And he was like, yeah, it's, it's fine. And I was like, okay, well, wait, listen. I am not there yet to host. I, I will host. I will open and I'll host. But I have the comedian for you. I call Sunda. First thing she says to me is, is it okay if I've been arrested? Jody, you know I've been arrested. I was like, I said the same thing. I was like, yeah, it's going to be fine. So yeah. then, then... Christmas, we're doing the Highway Patrol's we Christmas did it. party. And they take us up. So it's so funny. In squad in cruiser, cars. In, in a, a cruiser. cruiser. We, and this young black cop, Hot. super handsome. Yes, yeah, super Hot. handsome. And soon as Lock not us ready. up. So he picks us up with me at the hotel. And I'm like, so he's like, come to my apartment. I'm not ready. So like we drive over. And she's like, Oh, wait, is the cop car down there? And I'm going to come out. Oh, I'll never hear the end of this from my building. So we get in the back of the car and they're going to drive. He's going to drive us to the party. And he starts dying laughing because Sunday night at the same time. We get in the back and they go, oh, I've never been in the back of a police cruiser without handcuffs. Without on handcuffs? Both, Both of us. us. Both of us. <laughs> and I'm one of the dumb ones that had the balls to take my, you see how skinny my wrists are? I handed the cop his cuffs. I said, you might want these. And he was not happy yeah, with that. I did a, I did the karate kid when I was walking the line because I thought this is a joke, right? Because so Come I on. know that you have p police brutality story. And I, do. I think, you know, and I can't speak for everybody, but I feel like I had a really bad experience because I was in a toilet and they busted the door open and pulled me out. While you were peeing? Yeah, while I was peeing. They didn't pull me over. They, my car was already parked. I was inside. And they pulled me out. This girl had seen us. And my friend had made a joke about her jersey hair. Sorry. Oh. oh I know. She didn't mean I it. Know. She loves jersey. She and loves this jersey. this was a while okay? ago. I mean, God. Jersey hair Probably is big. Like 97. Yeah. The jersey hair was bigger than your that hair right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm an amateur. Thing you know, I'm getting arrested for my friend's, you know, jersey, jersey hair comment. comment. She probably was dating the cop. But they probably. messed with me the whole time. They mess with me the whole time. So we're three jailbirds together. Yeah. <laughs> you really are. You've been arrested too? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. I've been in jail for 30 mm -hmm. days before. Not That's enough. a lot. That's a lot. Wow. Before a kid. I was 18. Whoa. Shoplifting. Oh. I've 18. done it. I just turned 18. And we were at the mall stealing a bunch of Just shit. fucking around, right? We're just, just being bored. kids. And yeah. I was like I've under the that. influence of proud. peer pressure. You know what I mean? Because it's like, yo, you got to, you, you know. What did you steal? What did you take now that you think we about it? We went to the mall. And yeah. we just Makeup. put pants under our pants. Oh, yeah. Put shirts I think I got a shirt shirts. from Banana Republic. And then she tried to put on a coat. And that's when the security guard came over. Oh, that's bad. Because it was she, the summer. Yeah, she, exactly. <laughs> it was. She went running out the door in the coat. And I went running after her, and then this co the security guard's chasing us down, and I turned around because I had a conscience. Oh, yeah. You can't. You As a run. kid, and I was like, Don't. we can't run. No. And and I was just like, I am going to get in so much trouble, dude. My parents are going to kill me, dude. But I was just like, I'm turning around because I don't know what's going to happen. I, you know, like, I didn't know if the guy had a gun or, like, what was going to go That's down. So you're 30 you days in jail. How many women made moves on you? Well, speaking of being in Montana for jail, there was a lot of Native Americans in jail because there's not a very heavy right. Latino population at the time. There wasn't anyway. Mostly Native Americans. Were they in jail for drinking? Out of um, they can't drink. They're they allergic. I know. That's, drink. And that sounds very like me saying stereotypical. Yeah, but the truth. That, but I'm saying well, that they make moonshine on the reservation. <laughs> like they make like the strongest moonshine. So it's a thing. It's not like they love alcohol. Hey, babe, have right, you ever right. had shine? Yeah. Everybody's I have. had moonshine. I'm from part Oklahoma. Jesus. Like, yeah. Grandpa used to send it to us in the <laughs> bushels of pecans. Yeah. <laughs> How can we be like, are we like black, white trash? But they were, that was like, it, that was like, uh, you know, a scared straight instance. Like we were yeah. talking about, you know, it's just like, wow, you're just this white 18 year old. And then I got put on inmate labor. 
which is you work around the jail to try to get half the time or whatever. And they were just sabotaging me, like, left and right. How? Um, what were you, what was your duties? Like, the duty for me was to sweep the cafeteria. And so they would, like, run out and get the broom and start sweeping. And I'd be like, what are you doing? But Because they, the they saw that I was getting out in half the time, right? If I Because get, getting on inmate labor is like, you're here on good behavior. You're not a threat, right? Right. And so... Um, and, and I also, I was just so stupid. But but honestly, then I got put, so I, I got put in laundry, which is an overnight laundry. So we were doing all the jail's laundry, like, from 11 at night till 6 in the morning. And we were doing men's laundry and women's laundry. So it was, like, skid marks, like. They do have skid marks. They're boys. <laughs> you, They're boys. You have, you have like, Memories. skid marks. I have me- memory. Like, you've been scarred for life yeah, from scarred, those men's skid scarred, marks. scarred for life. Yeah, but well, that's you're not married, are so you? they get <laughs> wait a minute. They get laundry. service like that. They get room service in jail. Do they? Yeah. What do you mean? Someone's washing your clothes, doing your sheets, giving you food. Oh no, but I mean, yeah, like everyone's <laughs> wearing a jumpsuit, right? So yeah. we're just washing all the jumpsuits. But yeah, you get a clean she jumpsuit just, every. I think she just means you get taken care of in jail. I mean, some people. And you know what happens when people yeah, get out of jail? Yeah, but bologna sandwich like every disgusting. Meal. I had it. Uh, I know. Like, I didn't eat it. Bologna and meatball. bologna on yeah, white bread. I mean, on white bread yeah and this chick said to me when i was arrested in oregon she was like um did they strip search you in the in the police car and i looked at her i was like i'm somebody's mother if they come near my vagina my vagina will just chop off their hand yeah (laughs) it knows what to do nothing gets in there not without a diamond on intake i got strip searched we just talked about that she got strip searched dude what yeah like you strip naked and you have to open your and cough. Yeah, Get a no, cough. I know what it is. <laughs> but they did Thank it to you her. For explaining it to me. Is that terrible to do to her? For an 18 year old kid, yeah. I mean, that's what you need, though. I can't even lift like a gummy worm out of the bin at the grocery store now. You know what I mean? You'll never do it again. You know the. You know at the grocery store now you're like swiping your own. Yeah. And my boyfriend oh, and Swedes I love that. They call my, it pick candy. Yeah. They my, have like a whole. I'm like ew. Yeah, ew, that's disgusting. You want to talk about sanitation right. and stuff? I was like, Nick, I was like, you ruined pick candy for yeah. me in Sweden. Yeah, I was like, like, I'm not touching. Do you know how many people have touched those that? scoops and yeah. stuff? Yeah, like at the grocery store. No, but now you know the grocery store, you scan your own stuff like when you're checking out, right? Because, oh. right, you know, they they have not as many checkers. And, right. You know, the I know the scanner, self-scanner. So my boyfriend was stealing shit and just putting, he wasn't scanning it, he was just putting it in the bag, right? This is before they had the weight, I think the weight sensors or whatever. And I almost broke up with him. We got in a huge fight. I'm like, you can't fucking steal cheese and shit. Like, at the grocery store. Oh. Like, who does that? White but trash. That's so bad. <laughs> White trash steals <laughs> cheese, to- dude. You know why, right? Because they had bread and bologna, I mean, but no you, cheese. What are you walking out with grapes? You just stole, like, a bag of grapes. Like, who They didn't does give me that? anything. I didn't get a toilet. I didn't get water. I, I couldn't pee. I Because everybody was looking at me. Yeah, no. Well, they wouldn't give me one because they wanted me. It was to, in the like, room with them. Take a breathalyzer, and I wouldn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I, I said no to the breathalyzer. Yeah, I'm so the that's only why idiot. I was sitting there. Yeah. But the longer you wait, the higher it goes up. Did you know did that? You? I didn't know that. No, well, they, they were like just. Uh, I just finally took it. I couldn't. I didn't want to get out of there. Right. You just want yeah. to get out. Yeah, I wanted to get out. What I wanted to get out. You don't even care how much money it costs. I was you the want to get out of jail. Female in the entire station, and I was locked in a jail. I was not well, happy. What they do too is they take was, your mugshot at like two in the morning, and you look like you're crap. Full, like, yeah, you this look was like so haggard. And it's like two a.m. and you're in the drunk tank. But you know, <laughs> I was in the middle of a cornfield in New Jersey somewhere. I didn't know where the fuck I was either. I just want to get the hell out of Wait, there. You got, you I was got, just going to Atlantic City for my girlfriends. You got busted down. On Jersey Shore, it like wasn't South the Jersey. Sh- we, South weren't even, Jersey. we weren't even at the shore. It's we still got South Jersey. The, we got off the wrong Wait, place. You were in a six oh nine area code, Wait, buddy. You got pulled over. I what? Well, I didn't get pulled over. So we went into a Wawa market. Yeah, oh, my yeah. girlfriend, South her, Jersey, six oh nine. Yeah, I'm driving from D.C. to Atlantic City. It's yeah, her yeah. bachelorette night. She didn't want strippers. So we're like, yeah, yeah. we go to Atlantic City for the first time. <laughs> We get off to go to a Wawa. Yeah. A Wawa, yeah, I know what they are. New Jersey knows yeah, yeah. The, what a Wawa market yeah. is. So we go off, and I just need to use the bathroom. And they were all drinking in the car and everything. I think that morning I'd had, like, one glass of wine or something, but I hadn't eaten at her, like, bridal party or whatever. 
So then the my girlfriend gets out. She's drunk, and you know she's been like flashing her tits in the car out to the windows and whatever. Something I dream to do. Into the wall when we're getting going in the store, and this girl with this blonde frizzy perm hair. Yeah. Oh boy, pretty like bachelor party like eighty so like, This is still like this is like late nineties. Yeah. And she's my friend Sarah's drunk, and she's like nice jersey hair. And next thing I know, at the Exxon a mile down, I'm in there peeing and. Boom! They pull me out. They followed you guys? Me. Yes, they I, will. The girls called them. Yeah, they will follow you too. They will follow you too wherever you are. And I had gone into the bathroom and boom, they pulled me out. And And they will wait for you outside of the path mark. They will wait for you outside of the shop, right? Do not mess with New Jersey. Don't get caught with a roach. You go to jail. You're on probation for a roach. Not a cockroach, but the end of marijuana cigarette. Wait, legal in Jersey yet, right? No. Is it legal in New York? No. But then I came here... And the cops have been really nice to me, probably because I look like a fucking Karen or right. a cougar, yeah. a blonde cougar bitch, White right? Brooklyn. And they're not like, cougar oh, yet. She's really nice, you know. She's not. She's. Not, they're not targeting me, which is fucked up, right? But no, it's good. But, 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 you know, I've never had a problem with the LAPD here. So first time I, I, oh, I had have. a good experience. Uh, well, and then yeah, Cinda, so that show just to just to button it back up. She told me to have a clean show. Cops. It was like. Silence. Nobody's laughing. She gets up there in front of the cops is fucking this and cursing and they're laughing. And I was like, you told me I had to have a clean show for the cops. So I did. She's like, you have a I'll record. I have a clean show. I was like, ah. Wait, I, did- you, no, because I used to have to host the clean shows and right. people always associate me. So I always try to work clean first. Did they have fun, the cops? Yeah, but I didn't curse oh, yeah. a lot. They loved her. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah. We have to call them. Her. We should do something for them. Yeah, you should. Because yes. they were nice. And you, let me tell you something. I do no want to do something. Bad, no matter how many bad cops, no matter how many bad cops, no matter how, every camera. No matter yeah. how many bad cops are, you need a cop for a friend. Yeah, yeah. But the, but there's <laughs> good cops too. Like there is. Mean, there just needs yeah, to be yeah. a change in how the training Policing, is. Training. And you cannot target because you have to. There should be no quotas. I'm sorry. There should be no quotas for arrests. Right. Okay. It should be the opposite, right? Keep the peace, preserve, right. pres- yes. protect, and serve. And they have been protecting and serving me and. They've been kicking not arresting some... me anytime soon, although maybe after your show, I'll walk out and they'll be like, we're waiting for you. Well, listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I hope you come back to see us soon. Yeah. Oh, Cinda. I was so thankful that you asked me to be here. I miss you so much. I, I miss, miss you. you. We got to get together. She's. Oh, I, I, I got to get her from the girly show to I the femme fatale. I want to see you guys do another cop show. Can you make one? Oh, I'll call. We're talk. gonna do another one. We're gonna do another one. The cops need help now. The cops need help. I'm we not should on contact the cop them. Side. Look, everyone's like, "Oh, you're sticking up for the cops now." I'm like, no. well, we want them around in case something I happens. I don't want like, there to be right, a side. Right, I just want yeah, us to all either. fucking get along. Right, right. It's enough. But when you're in trouble, you need somebody to call. After I got a DUI and then I was on a list or something, right? Right. I'm coming out of the train and this dude chases me out of the train. He's like, fuck you, you fucking bitch. Like cussing me out. like Some just crazy dude crazy, chasing crazy, crazy, the- crazy guy. And I'm running for my life. I run to the grocery store. We call the police because I'm like, this guy probably has a machete. He's going to kill me. I don't know. Or somebody else. And the not cops you. come and they're like, I'm like, can I get a ride home? And they're like, we don't give rides. Are you drinking tonight? Because I was on a list. Uh, like my name. Because oh. now I had a DUI in the system and they didn't believe me. And I was like, I just need a ride. I almost got killed. And they were like, we don't give rides. They just thought that you were like, yeah. <laughs> right, and then right. drunk. Or right, something. right. Wow. No. But, I mean, they deal with so much. They, they deal with, I don't want their job. Mental right, illness. I mean, right, right. But I'm oh, saying, I, like, know. I don't want their jobs at all, guys. Even when you're in trouble, it's like, who can you call? I know. That's why I'm like, when they're saying, like, defund the police, I don't believe defund in the that. police, it's like, what about <clears throat> when you're really in trouble? I know. But they're not taking away the police department. They're just yeah. taking some of the money and putting it towards mental health okay. after school programs for young inner city kids they have to there's nothing to do after school but join a gang right I know. right right and story i know what right. i'm talking about uh, right. and right now colors look it up there's been colors it's from a long time ago about alphabet city oh yeah i course. live near colors, alphabet city colors, in the colors. east colors. village wow. if you haven't seen colors that what about warriors talk about old school gang movie warriors remember it's set in like in washington square park yeah they go they Fort Apache? It was like 70s. 
The Warriors movie. I saw Google all that it. stuff. Yeah. But I haven't seen Gone with the Wind. So listen, guys, back to that before we go, because the cops are going. Go see, see? Gone with the they Wind. The see? Cops. They're coming for us. They're coming, they're for, coming us. for us. Now they're taking cops off the air. <laughs> what you gonna do when they come for you, bad, bad, boys? bad boys? Listen, this has been a great talk show on the <laughs> go with the one and only Allie Bean. Where can they find you? Hey, Allie Bean 416 on Instagram. And the one and only. Jody Carlson, Ostrom. I know, I had to say them all, because if you're going to find me on Instagram or Facebook, you're going to have to add or them Twitter. all. Or Twitter, yeah. Or Twitter, and God willing, we'll have a femme fatale show. We'll be talking about a whole bunch of things, and we oh, like yeah. the idea of a femme fatale show. Yes. And that's been a great show today. And thank you, yeah. El Cid, and to Wes. Thank you so much. This talk show's out. Talk, talk, talk.